Between the M1 Abrams versus Leopard 2 tanks, which one is superior on the Ukrainian battlefield? Every country has its main battle tanks, the biggest and most important tanks of any military armed force. For Germany, that tank right now is the Leopard 2, a product from West Germany that first appeared in 1979. For the United States, it is the M1 Abrams, one of the most famous tanks in the world and a veteran of wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, examples of both tanks are heading to Ukraine, supplied by Germany and the United States to serve with the Ukraine army in its war against Russia. While both tanks are highly capable machines, each one has its pros and cons. Both have proven themselves in conflicts, but it could be that the Leopard 2 actually has the edge over its American rival. Both tanks have had various upgrades over the years to bring them up to date but the M1 Abrams might have had one upgrade too many. Because now, it's feared the Abrams has become a little overweight with some of its upgrades, meaning it is not quite as versatile on the battlefield. That could make the Leopard 2 the better of the two. Many would argue that the M1 Abrams is the most well-protected and most effective battle tank in the world. It's proven to be one of the most combat-tested as well. A 120mm cannon provides excellent firepower, and it's one heck of an armored machine. However, it's possible the Abrams has gotten too heavy for its own good. The Abrams first appeared in the late 1970s and weighed in at around 61 tons at the time. It had a 105mm gun and some incredibly strong armor. The Leopard 2 meanwhile very much has the weight advantage. The tank was first introduced in 1979 in Western Germany and has seen action in Afghanistan in the hands of other nations. The Leopard 2 also features a 120mm cannon as its main armament, like the Abrams, making it equally potent as its American rival. The armor is also made up of third-generation composite which also includes high-hardness steel. Despite the large cannon and the very capable armor, the Leopard 2 is lighter than the Abrams, much lighter. There are a couple of tranches of the Leopard, namely the 2A6 and the 2A7V, and both of them are much lighter than the Abrams. The 2A6 and the 2A7V weigh in at 62.3 tons and 66.5 tons respectively. Even at its heaviest, the Leopard 2 is nearly 10 tons lighter than its American counterpart. Meaning when Ukraine gets its hands on them, it might find them more effective on the battlefield than their American counterparts. It is little wonder the country was so keen to get their hands on some. This lightness is despite the fact the Leopard 2 has a 120mm cannon like the Abrams. The Leopard 2 is one of the most advanced tanks in military service today, with highly capable fire control systems and incredibly tough armor. Part of its appeal, though, is that it is quite easy to maintain. It requires less fuel than some other tanks in the West and it's not too difficult to replace damaged or broken parts. The various upgrades it has had over the years meant he Leopard 2 is still a very advanced and capable tank. The lightness of the Leopard 2 really does hand it an advantage over the M1 Abrams. It can potentially go over terrain that the Abrams can't, while it is perhaps going to prove itself more versatile on the Ukraine front. Its ease of maintenance over many other counterparts is another big plus point making it easily one of the most adaptable and versatile main battle tanks in the world. The M1 Abrams has proven itself multiple times on the battlefield. There is no doubt about that. But Germany and the Leopard 2 might just have a tank that is now even more capable and potent.